so thank you guys so much for 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 coming over You're to show welcome. the thank film you. for the students. Um, do you guys want to? Want another one? Uh, sure. <laughs> All right. I don't hide like that. Yeah. Yes, I know. Did you guys like the movie? They did. Yeah. yeah. yeah? You're just saying that they actually thought here. you were going to get the date. I just asked them. They all the whole time? Yeah. I was like, good, wow. great, yeah. Wow. Optimist. Well, they obviously think I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think uh, so. <laughs> you just proved that you were. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Hi. Hi. Can I just do so, like a, yeah. a show you would, of hands? Would, would you guys want to talk for a few minutes? Do you want to do introductions? Do you want to No, no, you do introduction. I just, have, just do. have a question. Like, uh, who here um, is in the writing program? Or are you all producers or are you directors? So well, I like writing. So you're writing producer? Yeah. Are you all sort of hybrids or? Writer director. Writer director. Oh, awesome. Then you're director? Director? Yeah. Writer director? In the back? Director's wife. <laughs> 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 the hardest job of all. Well, she, she came for a free screening. So you must be a director. Yeah. Writer director. Very cool. I, I teach film in Hong Kong. Oh, you do! Oh, wow. oh excellent! Just excellent. got back from Tokyo. Yeah, we're opening uh -huh. in Hong Kong in. Uh, no, we're opening in Tokyo. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Tokyo. <laughs> it when? Sixteenth. Yeah. Next. And then that's it. Then we're done. Yeah, yeah. you've been uh, traveling all over the, the world with the movie. I, I saw yeah. it in Hong Kong in the Oh yeah, yeah. we we made it in did the top we? ten. That, that we're, oh, we yeah. did. Yes, you're right. But was it in theaters? It wasn't. Yeah, right? it was. Really? That's the one that we saw in the Hollywood Reporter in the foreign oh, that's right. international yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, box office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's right. That was cool. Right. Thanks for going to contribute to the Hong Kong box office. You oh, did? wow. Thank you. <laughs> You're almost like a producer on the movie. You've supported us so much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry, that was just for us, edification of like who's here. But. Oh, yeah, okay, exactly. Well, we have uh, some students who are in a, a filmmaking program. We have a nine-month filmmaking program and a producing program, and then some people here for a short amount of time for four weeks. Great. So i got to say, it's a really inspirational story you guys have with the movie. Thank That's you very right. much. Thank you. It's definitely you, really sir. affecting. <laughs> yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank I you actually, very much. I just want to say, I'm from Denmark, and I actually saw it in theaters there. Yeah. And I was like, but I'm going to film school. I'm just going to go over here. And oh, oh, wow. That's so great. It was, it was so awesome. Uh, yeah, thanks for saying that. That's really awesome. Thank you. I didn't even know we were in Denmark. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know we were in Hong Kong. <laughs> That's great. That's yeah. awesome. Hey, were we dubbed or was it subtitled? No, no it's subtitled. Ah. subtitled. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting dubbed in, in uh, Tokyo for the home video release. Yeah. Wow. Did you have to pick your own voice actor? No. But I know my, my parents were, my mom was very excited about having an actress say Drew's a slut in, in, uh, <laughs> yeah. in, in Japanese. So yeah, she's excited about that. Yeah. That's, that's cool. yeah. Excellent. It's going to be neat. Do you guys want to maybe tell? I'm really curious about because I mean clearly we get your 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 life from the beginning on from the movie, but can you tell me about where you started from before you before you started this project and in in your journey here sure. to, to 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 Los Angeles before? Because we've seen the ascendancy afterwards. Well, I, I think that yours should go first because yours is of the international <laughs> variety. Yeah, how you got here? Yeah. Okay. Um, Let's see, I did not go to film school. I wish that I had, and this place is awesome, and Chris introduced me to it, and I would definitely have come here, so you guys were already way ahead of the curve. So I actually went to Paramount Pictures, and for two and a half years, I was in business affairs, doing the legal and contract side of filmmaking. And How'd then you get the job at Paramount? I got the job at Paramount. Actually, went, it was a temp job. It's actually a temp job. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys have done this before, <laughs> I can tell. And it went, it went from temp to you know permanent very quickly, and. Out of that job, I got offered a job to work for Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman. And I jumped at that because I had the hugest crush on Tom, which I think I might have mentioned. And it was actually why I was so attracted to this project, because I got where Brian was coming from. Because truly, had Tom known how much oh, I was it, yeah. into him, he wouldn't have hired me. It would have been like stalker. Um, so then I worked with them for three years. And in that time, they did Mission Impossible. They did uh, Nick did the Blue Room. She went to London to do that. I, for me, the best part of it was I worked on Eyes Wide Shut from beginning to end. So I had a year working with Stanley Kubrick, which was wow. with Tom Cruise, Nicole Kidman, and, and Stanley Kubrick. It was just amazing. And it was because of what I learned with them uh, that I started my own production company. And then I did the special edition uh, version of the DVD, usual, the, 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 DVD uh, the Usual Suspects, which was an award winning. It was, it was really cool. It turned out really well. And then I did Agent Cody Banks, which was my, my first big movie out there. And when door. you say you did Agent Cody Banks, 
the movie wouldn't have gotten made if it wasn't for Carrie. She took it all over town. <clears throat> this was you, 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 you bought that script. You optioned that script. I, that's right. That I optioned the script in my company, and we actually had it for two years. And nobody, I was pitching it all over towns as Junior James Bond. I mean, you'd think that'd be no brainer, right? No one got it, and it was as of my wits end. And I sat there one night, and I was thinking, what are they not getting? Like what? And this is a real lesson. It's like to think outside the box. You know, you have something good. How do I get that across to them? And I thought, you know what, merchandising and soundtrack, both very valuable. And I thought, well, who in town would respond to that? Madonna's company, Maverick. Madonna, soundtrack, merchandising, it was perfect. So I pitched it to the president of Maverick. And it, literally, I mean, it's a funny story because there was nowhere else in town to go. I mean, it was such a cold project. I pitched it to him and he went on vacation. And Even then, like the people who dimension and all that, who do like Spy Kids, no, which is Spy like a similar Kids, market, you might think. You know what, Spy Kids came out six months into me pitching it. So, oh, okay. So you think what you will, but uh, they um, they took it and ran with it. But anyway, it was um, working with Maverick was because the, the president, Mark Morgan, had gone on vacation, he'd taken the script with him, and then called me and said, what do I have to do to, to get you to stop pitching this? And I was thinking, not a lot, because <laughs> you're pretty much it. But I said, you know what, get me a deal memo on my desk tomorrow, it's yours. He said, really? I said, deal memo on my desk tomorrow. And next day, I had a deal memo on my desk, and that's how Cody Banks got made. So, you know, even, he didn't know, and he didn't know. And then, ironically, once we got Maverick attached, um, although MGM won out, every major studio in town was like, why haven't we seen this project? And he's thinking, kill me now. <laughs> <laughs> Two years later, gee, I don't know. So, uh, Agent Cody Banks one, Agent Cody Banks two, then I did a movie for Lifetime, and then I did my date with Drew, and now I'm working on a project for Fox. The end. <laughs> it's only the beginning. The beginning. Well, that, was like that, that was like that scene in Greece. It's not the end, it's the beginning. Yo, it's Sandy. <laughs> Sandy. So how did you get started, Brad? Well, thanks for asking, Kara. <laughs> No. Uh, I don't think you need Yeah, I don't need uh, Let's see. I went to Ithaca College, uh, which is right over there, apparently, the LA program. New York? Oh, yeah. Yep. In New York, yep. And I came out here to do the internship program and went up interning for DreamWorks and MGM and uh, finished up the internship and then wound up meeting an alumnus from, from Ithaca, a guy named Bill D'Elia, who's in the movie, my mentor guy. And uh, he was the executive producer of a show called Chicago Hope. And at the time, he was working on a pilot for ABC called The Game, which started with Perry. So he uh, offered me a job as a production assistant on The Game, did that, and uh, the pilot did not get picked up. So I went over to Chicago Hope as a production assistant for the writers and the producers. And while I was there, I basically, um, you know, photocopied scripts, made coffee, and um, nobody did it better than I did. And uh, I, um, you know, you're the first person there and then you're the last one to leave, and then if you go home, you fine, but you could also just stay and, and just hover over the director's shoulder until they wrap, and that's what I did. I basically learned more from Bill about filmmaking. Well, I'm not gonna say more than I learned from film school, but uh, you know, I learned the hows and some of the whys from yeah. film school, but from Bill, I learned the whys, the psychology that's involved in directing, um, and the business side of it from him. Well, actually, I learned that from you too. I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't know anything. Great student. Yeah, Great thank student. you, thank you. Uh, so, and while I was there, I made my own short film. I made a short film on 35 millimeter using the short ends. You guys know what that is? Yeah. yeah so I used the short ends from Chicago Hope, and and I was just telling Ithaca uh, students yesterday that it's a, you know, obviously a town about networking and and um, you know making people aware of what you want to do and and uh, making them aware of you. You know what I mean? Because nobody really cares about your success, and you have to care 110 percent more uh, about it before you even get into the industry to have anybody take you seriously. Um, so I did that short film. I used the short ends there. I edited on the Avids there at night. I, I slept there and um, held a screening at Fox uh, where I invited the whole cast and crew of Chicago Hope. David Kelly, I got to know him very well through Bill. And all of those Fox executives that I was handing out videotapes to uh, as a PA of dailies, they came and watched the movie too. Uh, 